and stop complaining about overreach and then overreaching themselves. When the statewide mask mandate terminated last month, Grand County was the only one to opt to keep theirs. But now the legislature's bill, nicknamed the COVID-19 endgame, terminates it. Once the three metrics kicked in, that allowance was gone. The bill's sponsor says vaccinations are looking good, and it's time. And we finally are, are normalizing. Uh, the numbers are in a safe place to normalize. and. You know, this will help everybody get back to normal. But Grand County leaders say they're in a surge. Under the state's own COVID-19 transmission index, they're the highest. We have 100, well, 1,300 cases per 100,000. And the metrics for the state was to be under 191. We're, you know, almost 1,000 over what the metrics are. The Moab area sees about 3 million visitors a year and has a 17-bed hospital. But the Grand County Commission chair says the legislature has tied their hands. They're now encouraging businesses to keep requiring masks for a little longer. We're lucky because we have a higher than average vaccination rate in Grand County. So we have a larger number that have been vaccinated. Uh, and so my hope is that the people that do get sick don't get severely sick and that we don't have to deal with our hospital becoming overcrowded. And that's just a hope. If we would have been able to keep our mask mandate, the health department believes that by the time it was going to expire in June, we'd have been through this surge. But now, uh, I don't know if this means the surge will go on longer. Now, Grand County is mandating masks in all of the facilities it owns, which it can do under the law. The National Park Service, which runs Arches and Canyonlands National Parks, is also requiring face coverings in areas where there are crowds. On the Hill, Ben Winslow, Fox 13 News, 